In this video, I am going to work out two Boolean algebra minimization examples that includes the use of the De Morgan laws. Let's start from the first one. We have f equals a and b or a naught and b naught naught. When we have this type of knot, which is across more than one term, probably we have to use the Morgan to split it in two and we will be able to work um, further. So I'm going to start by applying the Morgan's law. So I am going to divide this knot gate into two parts and swap the sign accordingly. So we'll get A and B not and A not and B not not. It is good to note that here it's like we have a set of brackets and another set of brackets. Remember that the not gate has the higher precedence Therefore, we have to always take care of it first. So here we have used the Morgan. We can't do a lot of things with this. So let's apply another step of the Morgan to divide this into two and this into two and get single terms. So this will become A naught or B naught into a not not or b not not and we have used the morgan again now this a not not and b not not can become a or b by using the double complement law because when we have not and not they will cancel each other. So using the double complement law, we will get A naught or B naught into A or B. And we have used the double complement. Now, these two brackets can't be further simplified as they are so let's try to expand the brackets and see whether we can minimize them further so i am going to end this a naught with the a and the b to get a naught and a or a naught and b and i am also going to end this b naught with that A and with that B to get A naught and B naught or B naught and B. Since we have expanded brackets, we have used a distributive law. Now, if we focus on these, we will notice that A naught and A using tautology will give us a zero a not and b can't be further minimized a and b not has to stay as it is but b not and b will also become zero using tautology using tautology we also know that zero or something else will give us that something else therefore we can eliminate the zeros to obtain a not and b or a and b not and that is the expression fully minimized we can do another step um, uh, because this particular pattern gives us a particular gate there is a logic gate you can see an explanation for it in one of the other videos which is called the xor gate exclusive or 
and this exclusive or is implemented using this pattern of gates using this boolean expression so if you want to continue and simplify this and obtain it as a single gate expression you can write it down as a xor b and that will be the most simplified expression that we can produce may i remind you that if you leave the leave the answer like this okay it is still correct provided that you are not asked in uh, the exam or in the particular question that you are working to simplify it and make it possible to do to, to use only one, one single gate i am now going to work out this other example which as you can see it also includes the use of the da morgan's law laws um so let's say we have f equals that um uh, using the morgan we can get rid of this large not gate so we will get x w not not and x z not not obviously using the morgan now when we have two knots on top of each other they will cancel each other using tautology so we will get x w and x and z using double complement and then using tautology we know that when we have two inputs two letters in the same and gate we can get rid of one of them so where we have x and x yet we can get rid of one of them and write it down as x and w and z using tautology and that is the expression as simplified as possible.